tell you what the police are doing. Yeah, they've done a great job so far. I know you're worried about Maria. You're not the only one. But they said they'll look for Kaz. If it wasn't for me, they wouldn't even know she's still around. Yeah, exactly. You've done your bit. I'll leave it to them now. Babe, I know you want to help, but maybe Kate's right. Just leave it to the police, yeah? Aiden. Hiya. So I might pop down to the allotment at lunchtime, see how you're getting on. Check up on me, you mean? No, of course not. I need to be 100% focused today, love. I don't need any distractions. Oh, I just think next summer I'll be popping down there for picnic lunches. Picnics at the allotment? Yeah, homemade bread, salads plucked fresh from the ground. <laughs> Bit like the good life. What do you think, Faye? Me and Sal, couple of old hippies leaving off the land? Well, as long as I don't have to be involved. Oh, you'll be involved, all right. You should be down there every night after school since you've been grounded. Anyway, like I said, I need to be 100% committed, so I'll see you later. Mm, see you later. Bye. What have you got in these? Oh, my worldly possessions, Norris. Accumulated as I wandered the globe. Yeah, well, there's not much storage in my room. Sean's got a big wardrobe. I doubt if he'll be in the mood for sharing it. Oh, I wouldn't dream of asking him. Oh, hey, and another thing. Well, I think on. Don't use any of his toiletries. He gets very funny about that. Well, I'll keep well clear of Sean's possessions. How was it? How was what? The wedding. I wouldn't know. I wasn't there. Wait, it's your brother. Maybe someone should tell him that. Hmm, very impressive. Well, you did marry a chef, and I might as well make use of them chickens. You do realise you'll need to keep this up every day of married life. I can't make promises on behalf of the chickens, I'm afraid. We should do something special today. Like what? A spa morning. One of those hotels in Manchester. Like a massage, sauna, then a bit of lunch somewhere nice. Oh, I can't. Why not? Well, it'd feel weird sitting in a sauna while Grand's jewellery's lying in a pawn shop somewhere. Pawn shop? Is that how she got the hook mare? Why didn't you say something before? Right, we need to get it back. Oh. With the Huckam Hair money? You can't do that. Look, I don't want the money if that's where it came from. Well, it won't be enough anyway. They'll have given her much less than the jewellery's worth. Then we'll get some of it back. Um, the most important bits. Yeah, I suppose you won't want the stuff Grandad bought her anyway. Right, well, there you go. We'll buy back the rest, and if we're sure, I'll make up the difference. Oh, morning, Mary. Can you have a word with Mister here? I caught him sticking a fork in the toaster. Dangerous thing, electricity. Exactly what I said. You could go the way of Miss Poland, 1984, if you're not careful. Who? Magdalena Jagowska. Dropped a hairdryer in the bath. Tragic story. You know, tragedy has a habit of following beauty queens. Miss International, 1991. Agnieszka Kautlaska. Narrowly avoided a plane crash then was killed by a stalker just two months later. Dev, can you give us money? No problem. <laughs> what time's your appointment today? Eleven. Well, I was thinking I might come with you. Bit of moral support. Oh, that's OK. It's good of you to offer, but you don't need to do that. No, I know I don't need to. I want to. What exactly are you hoping to find? I don't know. But if you're hanging around, you could at least make yourself useful. How can I help if you don't even know what I'm looking for? Try out these first. What are they? Credit card statements, bank statements, receipts for all that stuff that Kaz bought in Maria's name. <sighs> you better off just handing all this over to the police. <sighs> They've already looked at it. Yeah, and what are you going to find that they didn't? You're not a private investigator, Aidan. There's only so much you can do. Anything's better than nothing. Yeah, is it? I'm not just going to sit around doing nothing. Maria's locked up and that nut job's running around using her identity. Stop talking about her like that. What? Stop talking about Kaz like that. Why? Because I said so. Are you for real? You don't just stop loving someone, Aidan, even if they do something wrong. Talk about an understatement. She's off her head. I know it's crazy, but I can't help the way I feel. You lads don't mess about, do you? Well, early bird catches the worm and all that. It's not often the Weatherfield Amateur Archaeologist Society gets a dig like this on a doorstep. Well, you better make sure you're nice and thorough, then. Oh, absolutely, and I'm sorry if there's any inconvenience. Well, I could do without the disruption, but it's important work, I understand that. We'll be out of here in a few hours, mate. Well, so to speak. 
Take your time, do what you got to do. Hello, Roy. What are you doing here? Providing my rhubarb ready for spring. I couldn't help notice the activity. I'm an archaeologist digging. I can see that. What for, exactly? I found a bit of old pottery yesterday. Really? What era? Oh, we don't want to keep them, Roy. They've got loads to do. How long will you be? Uh, mid-afternoon, I think. Spot on. I'll see you later. So go on, Roy. Tell us about this rhubarb. Gonna need a few tips if we're gonna be allotment buddies. What was all that earlier? About the beauty queens? Oh, it's a fascinating subject. The paradox of tragedy and glamour, beauty and death. Not exactly cheerful reading, is it? Well, maybe not, but it makes you think. We're all blinks of an eye in the story of the universe. Mm, when you put it like that. Susanna Flores Gámez, Miss Sinaloa 2012, killed in a gun battle while travelling through the mountains with a gang of drug traffickers. Always risky. The list goes on. Yeah, well, spare me any more details. And spare yourself while you're at it and all. I mean, look at poor Michael. Taken without warning. He had a serious heart condition. I mean, it was hardly a bolt from the blue. And Maria Connor? Who knows what she's been up to? Well, she's not been found guilty of anything yet. <sighs> Everything will be OK, Mary. I'm sure it will. I wish I shared your optimism. I just want to know that she's OK. You know, one last chance to see her. Are you for real? I can't help it, Aiden. I've never loved anybody like I love her. You're as mad as she is. Oh, don't, Aiden. Look, you're probably right. This might be a waste of time. But when I track down your precious cat, I wonder what hit off. No, please, Aiden. Just promise me you won't do anything to hurt her. Just keep away from me, will you? What's the verdict? You were right to come to see me, but there's nothing to worry about. How can you be certain, Doctor? She's a doctor, Mary. Yeah, well, doctors make mistakes. I really do think you're going to be fine. You think? But you can't be sure. It's good news. Unless you can be 100% sure, I prefer some kind of concrete reassurance. The doctor wouldn't take unnecessary risks. I tell you what, just to put your mind at rest, why don't I refer you for a scan? Just as a precaution. How could you let me believe you were dead like that? None of this would have happened if it weren't for you. I'm sorry. You rejected me. Just like everyone else has. I should have picked up the phone that day. I should have done a lot of things differently. I never wanted Maria. It was always you. I know that. And, and I wanted you too. Really? Because if I find out you're lying to me again... Oh, of course I'm not. I thought something awful had happened to you. I didn't know what to do. I've been desperate, Kate. But I'm here now. And I wouldn't have come back if, if I wasn't sure that you still love me. Well, how did you know? I've been watching you. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, 
But I took a big risk, you know, coming back here for you. Okay. Don't you think she'll answer it? No. I don't, actually. She might be ringing to apologise. I'm not interested in her apologies. Let's just go. Me and you, let's just get as far away from here as we can and have a fresh start. Look, I know I've made mistakes, but so have you. But you're the only one for me. And this, this could be our chance to be happy. I want that just as much as you. But we just need to make sure it's the right thing for the both of us. What's it to be tonight, then? Chinese, Indian, Thai? Oh, uh, no, I, uh, uh, spicy food doesn't agree with me. Fish and chips, then? Yeah. All right for some. <laughs> It's a meal for one in front of TV for me most nights. Oh, why don't you join us, then? Oh, well, yeah, but you have to buy your own fish and chips. Of course, Norris. Hey, you can come to us for tea any time you want. I was saying your welcome is one of the easiest things in the world to do, mate. I don't be daft. Fizz was just saying this morning how much he misses having you around. And the kids. And me. I just miss the rent money. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, if you wanted to be our lodger again, you'd be welcome back with open arms. Honestly. Could move in tomorrow if you want. Oh, maybe I'll do that then. Well, maybe you should. It's a deal. Deal. <laughs> hey, gents, why don't we reconvene in here after work for a celebratory drink? Oh, I, I, I don't think I shall have time for that. The first round's on me. Well, uh, I'll, I'll see what I can do. She left a voicemail. Well, at least listen to it. Are you sure about this? About us? Yeah, of course I am. Do you really think that we can make it work? We can try. If that's what you want. Of course it's what I want. I want to come back here otherwise. You'd be giving up everything, though. You know, your job, your home, your family. That's what I have to do. Aiden's coming. He'll be here any minute. You little. No! <laughs> do you really think I will let you dream me like this? I've let go of me. <laughs> Why should I? <laughs> do you know what? You won't get away with this. I'm coming back for you. Oh, get out of my way! No chance. No. Kate, are you all right? <laughs> the police are on their way. <gasps> hey, she's lovely, that Dr. Garras. Very pleasant. Yeah, well, some can be quite judgmental. I'm not sure what you mean. Well, you know, when they ask about your diet or how much alcohol you drink, I mean, you tell the truth, but you still feel like you're lying. <laughs> hmm. I used to have this gorgeous doctor when I lived in Spain. Dr. Ramos. Looked like Al Pacino. Hmm. I almost jumped for joy every time I woke up with a sore throat. It, we should be celebrating with something a bit stronger. Celebrating what? I've been referred for a scan. Yeah, as a precaution. She seemed pretty sure that it'd come back negative. Well, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Is everything else OK, Mary? What do you mean? Well, I mean, nothing else is upsetting you, is it? I, I, Apart from your lump. Isn't that enough? Well, of course. I just meant that it was... Look, I'm absolutely fine, Erica. At least I will be once I've had the ultrasound. She just turned up. Not exactly. What's that supposed to mean? I knew she'd be watching, so I gave her a reason to come back. Watching? How? She put a camera in here. She's got it on her now. <sighs> right. Thanks for the info. It's very helpful. How did you know? This world. We'll need to speak with you in the next couple of days. Come on. God, how can I have fallen for that stuff she was doing before? I'm a complete and utter idiot. Yeah, you take it easy, will you? You fixed it now. Look, you put your neck in the line for Maria. If it wasn't for you, she'd be stuck in there. Yeah. Ah. 
Tomorrow was the first day of married life. Yeah, it was all right. Is this all right? I took him shopping. I see. Accompanying the wife on a shopping trip, every husband's duty. Buy anything nice? Just some jewelry. We didn't get it all, just the pieces from your mother. Thought you'd be happy to see the back of some of it. <sighs> Where did you get the money? The Hakmar? You shouldn't have done that. I'm not bothered about the money. Well, that money was meant for you. Well, you can pay us back with loads of nappy changing and babysitting when the time comes. Are you talking about kids already? That's amazing. <laughs> Any joy? Not really. Uh, I suppose that's how it goes for you lot, doesn't it? You win some, you lose some. Can't be raiders of the Lost Ark every day, can you? Oh, can I give you a couple of quid for a Friday pint? No, you're all right. Right, well, why don't you pop back next year? I'll give you a couple of lettuces and something instead, eh? I'll look forward to that. Keep me going through the dark winter months. Yeah, thanks for all your hard work. from the same place before. Yeah, it was a present for one of her army mates. Nickname was Snooper. She was a right nosy cat. It was a joke thing. I noticed the name of the website on one of those credit card statements. Well, you should have told me what you were doing. How could I? I didn't know what she was watching and listening. You should have texted him or something. I didn't want her to see him on my phone in case she got suspicious. Oh, it doesn't matter now. They've got Kaz and Maria's getting out. Yeah. Is Kurt going to go and pick Liam up from childcare? Yeah, they'll be there when Maria gets back. I just can't believe I'm partly to blame why that little boy's been kept away from his mum. How am I ever going to make it up to him and Maria? You've made a start today. Yeah, and you can carry on by helping me make the flat look nice when she gets back. I can't Kurt do that. Are you actually kidding me? <laughs> look, you go and pick Maria up and I'll take care of the rest, yeah? There you go. There you go, a pint for the working man. Thank you very much. Mm. Shall I start pouring you another one? Mm. Mm. Oh. I've been at the allotment all day, digging it over, getting ready for planting in the spring. I've never been one for gardening, me. Especially vegetables. What's the point when fresh goes is down the road? You can't beat growing them with your own fair hand. It's nice to know that you've vegged the fruit of your own labour. You know, I thought I might find you in here. Mm. Hey, hang on a minute, he's been breaking his back all day. What, you finished it? Of course I have, love. Really? Hmm. Go up and have a look if you want. Oh, it won't be necessary. I'm so proud of you, Tim. White wine for sale, please. Room for another, by any chance? Hey, no problem. The more the merrier. Uh, a pint, a half, and an orange juice, is it? Oh, very kind. Right. You're a good man, Freddy. How did the big dig go? Well, it was hard work, but I got there in the end. No, I meant, I meant the, the archaeologists. Archaeologists? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, it was nothing. It was just a, a, a few students poking around the allotments. Archaeologists, big dig. Doesn't sound like a few students to me. What have you been up to, Timothy? You're not lying to me, are you? Oh, would well, 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 you uh, care to join us, Erica? Oh, looks like a boy's gathering to me. You're all right, thanks. Oh, <laughs> Is everything OK? Have you noticed Mary acting strangely lately? No more strangely than usual. Why? Forget it. It's fine. Huh. Huh? Well, I'm surprised to see you here. I just can't keep away from the place. I thought you'd be off enjoying married life. I, um, I think I've left a book here. I'm determined to get it finished while I'm off. Good for you. Seem to be in there. No idea where I've left it. Well, you'll just have to find something else to do with your holiday then. I'm sure it will turn up. See you next week. Bye, love.
Thanks again for coming to pick me up. There's no need to keep saying thanks. I've no idea how good it was to see you. Nobody could blame me for being worried about going back in there. Mm. Like everything's going to settle down now. Yeah. Until they throw me back in prison over all this Pablo stuff. Like it won't come to that. I'll just enjoy this for now. Kaz won't be out of prison for a long time. Liam's up there waiting for you. Thank you, Aidan. You weren't joking, were you, when you said you wouldn't give up on me? I wasn't. But it's Kate you should be thanking. Not just her. No. All that matters is your home now. And they've got the right person locked up. Yeah. Could have been stuck in there for so long, though. Well, you're not. You can start putting this all behind you. I'm, I'm always here for you. You know that. Have your back. Oh. Now you've got a nice clean flat and you've got a lovely bottle of wine chilling in the fridge, okay? Hey, you shouldn't have gone to any trouble. Hey, don't be daft. Just come on, party this. Come on, let's get you in. Next tonight, it's Oxfordshire and Yorkshire on the menu on tonight's Countrywise Guide to Britain. Then at 8.30, it's Double Trouble Friday as not one but two campmates say farewell and I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. <laughs>